Every package is comprised of the same group of systems, but these will vary greatly depending on the functional objectives of the vehicle. Generally speaking, these are broken into six groups. These include the occupants, the interiors and cargo, the powertrain, the wheels and tires, suspension and chassis, and the body. At some point early in the process, the segment that the concept will fit into should be chosen. This is because a legal requirement or functional requirement could drive the architecture and also change the proportions of the vehicle. The vehicle types or market segments are divided into roughly eight different categories. These include micro cars, the economy cars, luxury cars, specialty cars, minivans, SUVs, pickup trucks and commercial vans. This live axle and coil system can be used on off-road vehicles that require a tough suspension with lots of articulation and four-wheel drive. The axle can be a solid bar if the wheels are not driven. Leaf springs are often used with this type of suspension and are often utilized for truck rear suspension because of their ability to support heavy loads, which can be increased by adding additional leaves. Note in the upper illustrations how the wheels always remain perpendicular to the road, regardless of body roll or loading. Setting up the windshield aperture needs to be done with consideration for the legal vision requirements for most markets. The A-pillar obscuration criteria is shown here. The up and downward vision requirements need to be considered also. Vision lines are created tangent to the eye ellipse or through the V1 and V2 points and used to develop the cowl and windshield header sections. Note how important the driver's eye ellipse location becomes when the windshield perimeter is being set up. 